Hello and welcome to Python 3.7. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and install Python 3.7 on the Windows operating system. To get started, go over to python.org. Once there, go ahead and scroll down to the download uh, area right here, and you're going to see the latest. And it's going to say Python 3.7 point something. So as long as you see Python 3.7, you're good to go. It could be 1, 2, 3, 4, it doesn't matter as long as we got Python 3.7. Let's go ahead and click on that. We're going to be brought to another page. We're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom here. Um, and we got 64-bit and 32-bit down here. We're going to, depending on your system, select either 64 or 32. I'm going with 64 uh, web-based installer. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to go ahead and download. Once it's done downloading right there, we're going to go ahead and click on it. And now we're presented with the setup window. Before we click any of these here, go to add Python 3.7 to path and then back up here and we're going to do install now. Install now um, is going to install the IDLE, which is the integrated development environment. We may or may not use that. Um, but one of the most important things here is that little three letter um, word right there and that's pip that is the python install uh, package installer that will allow us to install a lot of cool packages in python so we want to make sure we have that and have access to it so let's go ahead and click install now and while it's installing now one of the most important things that is being installed right now is the python interpreter and what the python interpreter does is it takes python code interprets it into the uh into the C language, which is where our um, computer computes things. So it's going to go ahead and compute our Python code. And then once it's done computing, it's going to go ahead and send that information back through the interpreter back to either our program or wherever we want to display that information. So that's what's going on right now. It's installing the Python interpreter. So once it's done installing here, we're going to go ahead and open up the command prompt and make sure that we are able to get to Python 3.7. All right. One of the cool things about what Python does is it installs here on, um, on our Windows machine, it allows us to go and click on a, a, a link that will bring up the command prompt and where it be in Python 3.7. So you guys don't really have to worry about too much there. Uh, if you're presented with a little uh, button down here that says, go ahead and extend the path of um, from 250, I believe it is, or 260, go ahead and do that because there has been some uh, complaints that I've seen that people are unable to access Python because the path is too short. Uh, the restrictions too short, I should say, and the path too long. So go ahead and click that. Mine doesn't have that, but I did see that. So let's go ahead and click close. And then we're going to go over to your uh, Windows button. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down here to Python. All right, or you can just type Python in down here. And uh, we got our little Python file here. So the first one we got is IDLE. Like I said before, it's an integrated development environment. We are not going to use that. The next one we got here is Python 3.7. Mine says 64-bit. Yours may say 32-bit. doesn't matter. Um, so let's go ahead and select this. This is, the, this is going to run Python in the command prompt, and that's what we want. So we're going to go ahead and select that. Notice the command prompt comes up, and we got Python 3.7.0. All right, and that was released on June 27th, 27th, 2018. All right, so here's the command prompt, and we can try it out, just make sure things work. So we're going to go ahead and type print, and then parentheses, and then we're going to uh, put a quote, and we're going to say, hello world, like this. All right, whoops, and close out our quote, close out our parentheses, hit return, and notice it says, hello world. Uh, I've got two caps there. Whatever. We're going to learn about what just happened there shortly. So I'll see you in the next tutorial when we start talking about uh, variables. See you there.